Hey, thanks for being here. My name is Emily Newman, and I'm an abstract mixed media artist based out of Atlanta, Georgia. For years, I have battled with serious depression, and my art has served as an incredible therapy, bringing so much hope and healing and freedom and joy. And I want nothing more than to share those things with you. Today, I have just a little glimpse into my heart and my head and what's going on in my studio in this season. Friends, it has been a few minutes few minutes a minute a month two months maybe more since I showed my face I think I've had super high aspirations for what I wanted YouTube to look like for me it has turned out to be a little bit different all that to say I do still plan on building this page I do want to have a presence here on this platform and I'm just still kind of trying to figure it out to be honest I have like super high expectations for production quality and the way I want my videos to look and the reality is I don't have the time or the tools to put in to make it that. Sometimes I forget that art isn't 100% my life and that first and foremost I am a mom and a wife and a friend and a daughter. I have a lot more going on than just my art. On top of that, I want to be painting. Painting is my first priority in my business. And so that is where I'm spending the majority of my time right now. I'm currently taking seven weeks off of work to focus on just a few specific things. And um, so I'm a little bit of a social media hiatus. I am not marketing, sending a bunch of emails or creating specific collections, but instead I am prepping for a solo show I have coming up in January. It's gonna be my first conceptual solo show, so I'm going to be presenting all of my abstract minis, which are the tiny four by six pieces that I paint every single day and kind of sharing the whole concept and story behind them. On top of that, I have been working on official online classes. So instead of the just free tutorials that I'm offering here and there here on YouTube, I am going to be producing full on online classes where you can learn abstract florals, abstract painting, abstract composition, watercolor, mixed media, and I'm gonna have the opportunity to teach you a whole lot of different things with a really great company. So I'm really excited about that. I have been filming and producing and trying to dip my toes in there and really create something that I'm proud of. But one of the things that I have come across in the last couple of weeks is just how much the expectations that I have of myself can stop me from doing anything. Instead of being okay with starting small and just getting something done. So I specifically had a pretty major mental block with um, one of the classes that I was working on. And it's because what I do personally every single day is I work really intuitively, so I don't plan out my pieces, I don't select my watercolors, I, or select my color palette, and I don't have like a specific composition in mind. But instead, I just show up, I pick up the colors I'm drawn to, I paint intuitively, the composition just comes to me, I work layer by layer to enhance and increase the beauty of the things that I lay down and just kind of build on what's there. And I follow a very specific process and I use multiple mediums. Well, this first class that I'm working on is watercolor florals for beginners and it's great. I love it. I know how to paint florals. I know how to use watercolor, but breaking it down into specific steps that are very different than what I do on my daily has been a learning curve, to be honest. And I'm really excited about the classes that I am producing, but I found myself putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because I had this expectation of like production quality, kind of like I was saying here about YouTube but I have these expectations of how I want things to look and I wanna have like this great like film quality where you can see me painting from different angles and the colors and the lighting and everything's really dynamic and like intriguing and draws you in. Well, the reality is sometimes you just have to start somewhere. I have had to tell myself that it's okay with starting small. It's okay to produce something that's not my best work ever and instead use it as a stepping stone, use it as a learning experience Without my first steps, then I can't move on to the next steps. Without the first experience, you can't learn and change things for the
the second, the third, and fourth experiences. So uh, these are some of the things that I have been learning as I am processing and working on new things myself. So I thought it would be fun to share with you just where I'm at, why I'm not here a ton, and why I'm not painting a ton, sharing what I'm painting a ton right now. I am still hard at work and very excited about the things I'm working on, but life just looks a little bit different. So I do hope to show up more in the coming weeks and I'm really excited about continuing to grow here in this space and being okay with starting small and being okay with things being the way they are and not just some absolutely huge, beautiful production. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.